Hi, welcome to the practice questions on being able to multiply large numbers. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at these two questions using this grid method. And then when you're happy with your answers, uh, if you can restart the video, look through the model answers and correct any mistakes. OK, pause the video now and have a go at the questions. OK, welcome back. Question one then. We're going to write the 362 along the top of the grid, making sure you're writing the numbers directly above the columns. And the 13, we write down the right-hand side of this grid. Then it's just a case of multiplying the 1 by the 2, the 1 by the 6, and the 1 by the 3. So 1 times 2 is 2. Because it's a single-digit answer, we write a 0 in the top and a 2 in the bottom. 1 times 6 is 6. Again, a single-digit answer, 0 in the top and the 6 in the bottom. And 1 times 3 is 3. 0 in the top and a 3 in the bottom. So then we move on to the second row. 3 times 2 is 6. So again, 0 in the top, 6 in the bottom. 3 times 6 is 18. Now we've got a double digit number. We write a 1 in the top and 8 in the bottom. And 3 times 3 is 9, 0 in the top and the 9 in the bottom there. Now, once we've done this, then what we need to do is we need to add together these numbers in these diagonal columns here. If we imagine that basically we're just firing an arrow through here, and whatever it hits, you add together. So an arrow through there gives you six, an arrow through there, add those together, and so on. So let's do that. First one. We've got our answer of 6. Write it directly underneath. Now put some dotted lines in here because it helps you know exactly where you're supposed to put your answer. And if you do a dotted line down and then going down like that, it makes it a lot easier. Second column, 2 times 8, 2 add 8 gives you 10. So we write the 0 in and carry the 1 just like we would if we were adding normally. The third column, 6, add 1 is 7, add the 9 is 16. But remember, we've got the one here which gives you 17. You put the 7 down and carry the 1. And then you've got just 3 in there, plus the 1 is 4706. So our answer for that one, 4706. Always check in this corner here to see that there's not a number there. There's not this time, it's zero, so it doesn't matter, but it's not always the case. Okay, question two. This time, we've got a four-digit number by a two-digit number. So in order to do this, I need to extend my grid along by one more column. I now write the four, the two, and the one and the eight along the top, and the 12 there down the side. Now we multiply these together again. So 1 times 8 gives me 8. 1 times 1 gives me 1. 1 times 2 gives me 2. And 1 times 4 gives me 4. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So we write 1 in the top section, 6 in the bottom. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. Right, these uh, add the columns together. So 6 on its own just gives you 6. Put in your dotted lines. And then add the second column together. 8 and 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Put the 1 down and carry the 1. And then we've got 4 and 1 is 5, plus the 1 is 6. And then 2 and 8 is 10. Put the 0 down and carry the 1. And 4, add the 1, is 5. And again, 
again there's a zero here so there's nothing at the front there so our answer becomes for this one five zero six one six